But yeah, still here in the country. So y'all, today I had a, well, I have a craving for um, there's this gas station down the street called Casey's, which I don't know if y'all have, probably in more rural areas, but, oh, oh Lord have mercy. Um, they have pizza. They have like slices of pizza and they actually sell like whole pieces, but it's one o'clock. I've been doing homework all morning and drooling over new pair of Gucci slides that babe got me. It's hot, y'all. Hold on. It is hot, honey. Y'all see my new lip gloss? It's just clear. But, um, yeah, so I felt like having a piece of pizza, probably two, <laughs> depending on how big they are, but I'm just gonna run down here and get some slices. I'm not gonna buy a whole pizza because I am cooking tacos for dinner it's taco tuesday um and then i have to watch a movie uh for my mental health class y'all and i have to write an eight page paper on that movie so um it's imperative that i get that done this week pretty much wrapping up the summer semester thank god um but, you know, I get a week of rest and then it's on to the summer semester. I'm really excited because yesterday they put out the information for Orion Licensure. Am I saying that right? Licensure? License. Sure, yeah. Um, to get our license, Orion License, basically. And we have decisions on if we're going to like get like a multi-state license or... Uh, just an in-state license and if I was in Missouri I would definitely apply for the multi license multi-state license which means um I'm sorry y'all I'm trying to mess with this heat and air um I can practice in all the compact states which means um I can practice in about I want to say like 22 states or whatever that are all touching um but I I, I'm going to move back to Illinois, y'all, for now, um, which is where I'm from. So I think that means that I have to apply for just an Illinois license. But then I think she said 30 days later, I can apply for the multi-state license. But I have to be, you know, clear on that. So I'm sure I'm going to have to ask some questions and email the lady and see what's up. So that's exciting. I've applied for graduation already. Um, still got to get all my information to the teacher. Um, by like the first day of class, which is like April 27th, 24th, they said something like that. So, uh, we gotta get that tour, and then once that's approved, I'll be able to apply to sit for the NCLEX, which is um, like um, for my state boards, taking my state boards. And at the same time, I'll be able to work as a graduate nurse, y'all, for 90 days or up until I pass my NCLEX. So, all that is getting ready to happen in the next few months. Y'all, 2020 has been trash, but yet still some highs. Um, and this is definitely a high for me. Graduating has been two long, tedious, trying years. And I'm just ready for it to be over. I'm ready to start, you know, a new life with my boo and, you know, just, just live life and be more successful. Um, I'm also excited because I am in the very, 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 very early stages of discussing business. I have a cousin who is actually in the position that I want to ultimately be in. She is a um, mental health nurse practitioner with her own practice. And we talked extensively a couple weeks ago or so. And um, she's, you know, when I get to that point, she's going to be willing to like do my preceptorship. And basically, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, hands-on, show me the ropes of how to run a business and how to, you know, code for insurance. Um, and she's family, you know. And so the goal is going to be to ultimately expand the family business state to state. Um, if you guys want to look her up, it is 
Stiff Family Wellness. Stiff is my father's, uh, my biological father's last name. So it's on that side, but I mean, she's in the position that I want to be in. She's a black woman. I mean, what more can I ask for? She's giving out free knowledge. Uh, I want to be her, you know, business partner slash expand the family business. And y'all know mental health is big right now. It's always been big, but you know, now more than ever, I mean, life is stressful. I mean, just 2020 alone on its own can drive somebody insane. So, um, I just feel like the Lord is directing me in the right path and putting the right people in my, in my, you know, in my line of sight and, and reaching out to me and, um, it's going to happen. I always manifest. I've always been a person that manifests. I've always been a person to kind of see the future. I'm a visual person. I don't put limits on myself. I see great things for myself. Um, of course, if the Lord says, because y'all, I still got to catch y'all up <laughs> on the video. And I've been saying this for a couple years now, but you know, once nursing school happened, life happened, you know, after it. And, and it's just been life-changing for me um but yeah i just think i'm on the right track and i'm just gonna roll with it i've learned to trust in the lord i've learned to you know lean on him for support and trust the process you know once before i used to always think i had things under control but i've learned quickly that i have control over nothing and i think that's you know the lesson that the lord has been wanting me to learn is that uh you really have no control over nothing you can predict nothing I do things in an unconventional way and at the end of the day it's all going to work out and i have big control issues so it's hard for me to surrender to his will but i've learned to do that and now i'm a little more carefree in that area still don't like the way things go in life but lord if it's your will let it be so that's my attitude so y'all i am so hungry let me get him get this pizza and i will chat with you guys later okay y'all so i'm back girl I know this is TMI, but y'all know I'm y'all fabulous auntie, cousin, sister, whatever you want to call me. Okay. Um, it is nearing that time of the month and slow is on her way. So I got me two big old pieces of pizza, y'all. Two big wide pieces of pizza. A pepperoni and a sausage. No one, I don't need it, but it's just craving. It just won't go away. I don't have any chocolate in the house. There's no sweets in the house. Last night I settled for a granola bar. So I'm doing good. <laughs> um, I had lost some weight. I, I'm still overall losing weight, but I picked up some in the last month. Um, and when I tell you guys, you know, what's been going on, you'll understand why. But, um, so I'm just trying to get back on that journey. And I've already made it in my mind, because if you didn't know, me and babe are now going to get a place together um and i plan and we've already talked and he, he's losing weight he's already losing weight which is crazy men loses like that i'm jealous like he lost like what nine or ten pounds but it looks like he lost like 20 like you can just tell but um anyway our, we already talked about it and we are going to just adopt a healthy lifestyle we're not putting any bad food in the house any snacks anything like that so we won't be tempted there will be lots of green vegetables pretty much just following like an alkaline diet and hopefully the place that we applied for will be right across from a park so we're definitely going to take advantage of that park and do a lot of walking i'm trying to convince him to bike ride i don't think babe is into bikes <laughs> low-key i feel like he can't ride a bike he don't want to tell me but i feel like he can't ride a bike or something i don't know or maybe he just thinks it's lame but um I'm gonna try to make us ride bikes and just get active because I just, y'all, you know, I've come to know myself. I'm not really a exercise everyday type of person. Like I, I need more creative ways to get the weight off. I can't just get up and do, you know, 30 minutes of cardio and 20 minutes of strength training. Like that's just not me. So, you know, that's why I veered towards like yoga and uh, Zumba. I used to go to Zumba back in the day. It's just fun. It's upbeat. It's dancing. You're still getting your cardio in. Yoga is relaxing. You know, you're doing a lot of weight bearing and, you know, still losing those calories and those pounds and sweating and all that. But um, it's not repetitive. I don't know. It's just, 
I don't know. So I found that out about myself and let me get in this house, wash my hands and I'm gonna tear this piece up. Okay y'all, got this big old piece of pepperoni steel piping hot. And this is the sausage when I get to it. But yeah, I just got that and I got my ranch dressing ready to go. I got my tea ready to go and it's going to be a wrap y'all. Let me show y'all this. I have been loving this y'all. It is a phone stand that I ordered off of Amazon probably like two months ago now. I was watching Fatima Francesca. She's another nurse practitioner with her own medical spa, but she had this on her channel. And I was like, I have to have it. It matches my phone case and I'm getting ready to do some more homework. I watched that movie and it matches this too. So this is definitely gonna be one of my favorites. You guys should get it. And this is the company, very, very cheap. I don't even think this was 10 bucks, so. Shout out to that. Hey y'all. Good morning. It is Friday. Happy Friday to y'all. I am headed to the grocery store. Um, I don't need a lot of things. Just a few things to um, make meals with. And I need to stop at Walmart to, what do I need? Something, y'all, I don't know. I think of it when the time comes, but that's about it. It's a gloomy, gloomy Friday. Babe is taking me for wings later, so I'm geeked. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm so fat, y'all. <laughs> I'm so fat. Babe is taking me for wings. I feel like I haven't had wings in forever. I don't know. We had, like, wings stop, like, maybe two weeks ago but still i need some wings in my life so that's where i'm headed oh i'm going to walmart so i can get a freaking uh car mount finally right this ghetto handhold and stuff is for the birds i'm risking my life y'all i'm risking my life for y'all it's been time I, I see them all the time i seen one for like six dollars at uh where are we at like ross or something and i didn't even pick it up y'all just i guess i just like living on a dangerous side who knows but um, I'm looking really casual today. I am probably gonna change into like my Adidas jacket and some Adidas leggings. Well, I have on Adidas leggings now, but my shorter leggings. Um, because it's like rainy. It's not necessarily cold, but I get cold easily. And walking into these places, you know, with air on and all that, I might put that on later on. Um, and just have like a casual look today. Y'all, I gotta keep this headband on because baby. Mm, 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 mm. These edges are a hot mess. My sister said that I should uh, get like a touch up or whatever. Y'all, I didn't had so many braids fall out. <laughs> like they literally just fall out in the most random places. It's embarrassing. And I wanna say that the people didn't do a good job but I know that's not true because they gripped every bit of little and I do mean little hair that I had y'all um and I, but I think that's the reason honestly I think the reason why my braids just keep literally slipping out is because I had no hair like they pinched the crap out of the little hair that I did have and I guess the hair really had nothing to hold on to as it grew out so um, I am gonna let the same place probably redo them. I don't know about a touch up. I feel like, how does that work? Has anybody had like a braid touch up or whatever they call it, a refresh? I feel like the braids that came out, like how, how are you gonna effectively, I don't know. Like I just feel like I needed a fresh set. Like I don't wanna pay a fresh set price, but how y'all gonna go in amongst what's already there and put in new braids and then like my edges messed up like i need y'all to make new fresh parts like my edges is already suffering y'all so i probably shouldn't even be getting them but um i'm trying to grow my hair out but maybe i can get like a different style where like they plait my hair down some type of way i was thinking about that too and plus it's probably less expensive i don't know i need something done 
But yeah, y'all, that's all I'm doing for today. Nothing much. I just finished my eight page paper. Uh, well, it actually ended up being like 10 pages with a cover and reference sheet. Um, I finished that yesterday and I kind of didn't do anything else. So I read some material this morning. I still have to do one more homework assignment. And then, um, y'all, mm, mm, mm. I picked up the cutest sandals from the anniversary sale, y'all. I'm not getting anything else. <laughs> if y'all been following me on my other social media, which is basically Instagram, because I really don't post on Facebook like that, but you should follow me for sneak previews of everything, pretty much. Um, I just got the cutest. They're like snakeskin Tory Burch sandals with black Tory Burch. They are fire. I've never seen them before. I don't know if they're new. They got to be new or exclusive or something. But uh, I got a really good deal on them, y'all. Y'all know how expensive Tory Burches are. Oh, you know what else I wanted to do? My sister said that Wendy's has a good breakfast. It's about 1041. I wonder if they're still serving breakfast. Let me go ahead and try. She told me to try like the chicken biscuit or the chicken croissant. I'm not really a croissant. I mean a biscuit girl. I'm more of a croissant. I feel like biscuits are just too much. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much bread. Too much dough. It's too thick or something. I'm not on that. But I do like the croissant because it's soft and flaky and buttery. Um... But she told me to try both and see which one I like. I'm probably just going to get the croissant for today. And another day, I'll try the biscuits. So that's what I'm going to do, y'all. I'm all about food today. Um, like I said, I need to go pick up my sandals from Nordstrom. But they haven't told me that their order was ready yet. And the thing is, honestly, y'all, I'm, I'm just not really getting into Tory Burch. I got a pair of Esther espadrilles i don't know why i'm stumbling so much sorry i got a pair of espadrilles y'all they're size seven and they fit perfectly and i literally only ordered the seven because they didn't have an eight and i was like these are so cute i gotta get them if they don't fit i just take them back but they fit perfectly so i didn't even get a seven in these sandals i got an eight because i'm like i don't know i don't know i just feel like sandals you need more room or something Hi, welcome to Wendy's. How may I help you today? Are you guys still serving breakfast? No, we stopped serving at 10.30. Oh, no. Okay. Um. Uh. Let me just get a... How, how do your nuggets come? Four, six, ten, and a family pack of fifty. Can I just get a six piece? A kind of sauce. Barbecue, please. All right. And let me have a small. Let's try the peach tea. All right. Care for anything else today? That's it. Thanks so much. Love your order. It's four twenty nine at the first. Piece. That didn't work out, y'all. So. I guess we're gonna get some nuggets. I'm not even really hungry. I just wanted to try that, but I do need to eat something, so I'll be back, y'all. Okay, y'all. I've ghetto rigs and stuff. Y'all, I don't know what it is about this lighting, but I'm looking at my face right now. I it literally looks like I have on makeup. I mean, I know my skin is clear, but jeez. Okay, girl, what is your skincare routine? Okay. And I feel like I have a big forehead with this thing on the way it's positioned. But anyway, y'all, I've ghetto propped up this thing only because I'm sitting still. And um, I do have some sanitizer, y'all, so... But yeah, I had to get this little six piece. But anyway, as I was saying, I got an eight in these sandals. And right before this clip, I was just telling you guys that uh, they haven't contacted me to, t to tell me that my order is ready. Girl, I just got the notification. I just got the notification. So, 
Uh, that means I need to hurry it up because I'm excited. Um, but anyway, I was talking about the size of the sandals because y'all, my feet weren't so weird. Like one size, I'll be a, I'll be a six. One one not one size. One brand, I'll be a six. One brand, I'll be a seven. One brand, I'll be an eight and a half. I'm like. I know it can't be all these shoes that are this inconsistent. My feet are crazy. That's even like with Adidas, y'all. Like, depending on the shoe, I'm not even the same size in the shoe. I can wear like a five in kids. And then some sizes, I have to wear like a seven and a half in women's. It's just weird. weird. Some sizes. Some, y'all, I'm having so many issues this morning. Not some sizes and some different brands of the same, same shoe. No, same brand, different shoe. <laughs> Pray for me, saints and saints. Pray for me. I'm just eating this little nuggets because I need something on my stomach. Not Chick-fil-A, but it is good. Y'all quick quick subject change <laughs> have y'all noticed i've been on chick-fil-a lately do y'all remember my first video i did about chick-fil-a and how i swore them off because they tried to steal my man <laughs> if you have not seen that video on my channel go find it it's called chick-fil-a tried to steal my man And they did. The worker, the old lady tried to steal my man, y'all. Just go watch the video to find out what I'm talking about. But I had swore them off and girl. Let's just say I was ignorant back then. I did not know good food apparently. But you know what? The thing about me is I'm one of those people that I am so loyal to what I know that it hinders me like i'm not gonna say i don't like to try new things but i don't ride the wave like everybody else does you know everybody can say something is so good excuse me and it might be but like i'll find out when i'm ready to find out like i don't just go and oh my god i gotta go have this or i have to go have that that's even down to like luxury i don't have to have this i don't have to have that just because everybody thinks that it's the you know best thing since sliced bread i'll be in a whole different direction first of all i love vintage designer items especially louis vuitton that's like my jam so then number two y'all know i love a deal and i find deals all day long in the area of vintage louis vuitton that's like my niche and I'm going to tell y'all a secret. I said I wasn't going to expose this to the world, but I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all. And I told babe this the other day. I said, you know what? I said, I think the real reason why I always find deals because y'all, I'm not trying to brag, but I am like the deal queen, honestly. Like I pay little or nothing a lot of times for my designer or for my looks. I tell people all the time, I really don't spend a lot of money on my clothes because i feel like clothes are just disposable your style changes with time of course you know we all have those staple pieces like